Where are the heroes of those days? Talking about one of the most celebrated heroes in American history. With unrelenting courage, her people's legendary Moses led hundreds to liberation on the Underground Railroad. This astonishing black woman braved capture and death repeatedly to free slaves, earning her place among the greatest heroes in America's long battle against slavery. She joined Union forces when the Civil War erupted, becoming the first woman to lead a U.S. military op. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Her Story, Unforgettable Women. For today's video, we're returning to a very different era. Harriet Tubman ended slavery and impacted the Civil War. Harriet Tubman was a woman who escaped slavery and became a conductor of the Underground Railroad. She helped other enslaved people get to freedom before the Civil War, even though there was a reward on her head. She worked as a nurse, union spy, and backer of women's right to vote. Many famous people in American history are like Tubman. Her story has motivated many people of all races and backgrounds. Harriet Tubman was born on a farm in Dorchester County, Maryland, around 1820 as a slave child. Exact birthdays are not known, as enslaved people were not considered human, and their dates were rarely recorded. They named her Araminta Ross. Harriet had eight brothers and sisters, but many had to split up because they were enslaved, even though her mother tried to keep the family together. Harriet was five years old when she was hired as a nursemaid and was hit when a baby cried. The abuse left her with mental and physical scars that will never go away. Around age seven, Harriet was hired by a farmer to set musket traps. She was then hired as a field hand. She later said that she liked working on the farm more than doing housework inside. When Harriet was 12, she saw a supervisor about to throw a heavy weight at an escapee. This made her want justice even more. Harriet put herself between the enslaved person and the supervisor, and the person's weight hit her in the head. The weight broke my skull, she said later. They took me to the house while I was bleeding and passing out. They put me on the seat of the loom because I did not have a bed or anywhere else to lie down. I stayed there all day and the next day. She had headaches and sleepiness for the rest of her life because of the good deed she did, which made her fall into a deep sleep at random. Her dreams and hallucinations became very real, and she often said they were holy visions because she was a strong Christian. People who wanted to buy or rent enslaved people were not interested in her because she was sick. In 1840, Harriet's father was released, and she heard that her mother and siblings, including herself, had been set free as part of the owner's bequest. Harriet changed her last name from Ross to Tubman after she married John Tubman, a free black man in around 1844. Harriet knew that her brothers Ben and Henry were about to be sold, so she made plans to run away from her unhappy marriage. Harriet, Ben and Henry fled their Maryland farm on September 17, 1849. They changed their minds and went back. Harriet did not give up. With the help of the Underground Railroad, she made it 90 miles north to Pennsylvania and had her freedom. Tubman got a job as a cleaner in Philadelphia, but she was not happy being free on her own. She also wanted her family and friends to be free. She quickly returned to the South to use the Underground Railroad to get her niece and her niece's children to Philadelphia. She tried to bring her husband John North at one point, but he had already married someone else and decided to stay in Maryland with his new wife. Tubman was brave enough to return to the South more than once and led enslaved people to freedom through the Underground Railroad. Tubman led over 70 people to freedom, using her knowledge of the area, sharp observation skills, and ability to connect with people. She did this while avoiding arrest at every turn and navigating dangerous terrain. People noticed how brave and determined she was. Enslaved people started calling her Moses, making a strong connection between her and the biblical figure who led the Israelites out of slavery. Harriet loved her nickname and was the spirit of freedom and salvation bringing her people out of slavery and into the light of freedom. Tubman's change into Moses was symbolic and valuable. She carefully planned every rescue mission to ensure it would go well and keep everyone safe. Because of how well she led and how strongly she believed in freedom, Tubman was essential in the fight against slavery. During her whole life, Tubman kept inspiring and uplifting other people. People looking for freedom saw her bravery and strength as a symbol of hope. 
Her journey from being a slave to leading the Underground Railroad changed the lives of many enslaved people and lit a fire of hope in the minds of everyone who wanted to be free. Harriet Tubman's transformation into Moses was a symbol of her courage and strength, earning her respect and a lasting place in history as a beacon of bravery and justice. Her journey to freedom marked the beginning of a legacy that continues to inspire us today. The 1850 Fugitive Slave Act made Harriet's role in the Underground Railroad even more challenging. She had to guide escaped slaves all the way to Canada, often during shorter days in spring or fall, as the act allowed the capture and holding of freed and escaped slaves in the North. During the Civil War in 1861, Harriet devised innovative ways to combat slavery. She served as a nurse, cook, and laundress, using her knowledge of herbal remedies to aid sick soldiers and escaped slaves. In 1863, she played a crucial role in the Union Army's spy and scout network, providing invaluable intelligence on Confederate supply routes and troops. Her efforts included helping former slaves join Black Union regiments, demonstrating her remarkable compassion. Despite her petite stature, it took the government more than three decades to acknowledge her military service and provide compensation. Harriet Tubman also led a daring attack on South Carolina farms, liberating more than 700 enslaved individuals and becoming the first woman to lead a group of soldiers during the war. After the war, Tubman continued her activism in Auburn, New York, advocating for women's suffrage and social rights. She established the Harriet Tubman Home for the Aged, offering a sanctuary for impoverished and disabled African-American seniors where she resided until her passing in 1913. Harriet Tubman's life and work continue to inspire, portraying her as an American hero known for her bravery, strength, and unwavering determination in adversity. The U.S. Treasury Department has even announced that Harriet Tubman will grace the new $20 bill by 2030, a fitting tribute to her enduring legacy. In her own words, I had a right to two things, freedom and death. If I could not have one, I would get the other. This quote reflects her resolute spirit, refusing to accept anything less than freedom, even if it meant defying oppression or facing the ultimate sacrifice. In conclusion, Harriet Tubman's indomitable spirit solidifies her place in history as a pivotal figure in the abolition of slavery. Her bravery and sacrifices embody the unwavering determination of African Americans in their quest for freedom and equality, earning her the revered title of Moses from those she liberated. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more exciting Her Story content just like this.